Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something that I've been thinking a lot about ever since the Xbox game showcase thing. Last video we talked about, you know, are they actually going to show Halo 7 or anything, or even the CE remake remaster at the Xbox game showcase, and I said that that was probably very unlikely. I think that maybe something could happen during the game awards if we were to see anything at all from Halo this year. My fingers are crossed that we see whatever certain Infinity is working on. It does seem like Call of Duty might be Xbox's big thing this year, so we'll just have to wait and see. That being said, there was a game revealed that I think might have something to do with Halo Infinite in a roundabout way. And that was the announcement of the new Gears of War game, E-Day. Now, what does Gears of War have to do with Halo and the future of Halo, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you did, because that's what I'm going to answer today. But first, if you enjoy Halo content, if you enjoy Xbox stuff, Marathon, you know, whatever the future may hold, this is the place for you. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. I know 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed, so all you have to do is just hit one button and you can stay up to date with everything. And you can hang out with me and talk about stuff. Anyways, back to the video. So, E-Day is a prequel set 14 years before the first game. It will also star the original main characters, such as Marcus and Dom. Interesting. They also use the remix of Mad World, which was from the Gears of War launch trailer so many years ago. So to me, it seems like Gears of War is finally realizing what people liked about the Gears franchise and what people have been waiting for for so long. And I think that that might have something to do with the rumors around the Halo CE remaster remake. Personally, I would have loved to see like a, a Contact Harvest Halo game that was, you know, set before Halo CE and even Halo Reach. But unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to be a thing, you know, in the near future. But I can definitely see this affecting Xbox and how they're thinking about Halo. You know, these two games are kind of like the godfathers of the Microsoft Xbox dynasty. So seeing them get back to their roots is something I think is very telling. The one thing they did manage to say a bunch was that E-Day has been developed from the ground up with Unreal Engine 5 and promises to deliver unprecedented graphical fidelity. Again, why is this important, you may ask? Well, it seems as though Halo might be switching over to the Unreal Engine. And a team that helps with that, who is also, you know, very entrenched on Gears of War, is the Coalition Studio. Now, the Coalition is looked at to be Microsoft's ace in the hand when it comes to the Unreal Engine. They help with a lot of other studios. And I absolutely believe 110,000% that if Halo was to switch to Unreal, that they would have a hand in helping. I really do sense that something is happening behind the scenes with Halo right now. And that we're going to hear, see something pretty soon. I mean, soon, like within the next year, which to me, with how long it takes to develop games at this point, that's pretty soon. I don't know if it'll be from 343, just because I think that they learned their lesson from announcing Halo Infinite so early and they weren't prepared. I definitely see them kind of not doing that again. But all in all, this announcement of Gears of War, kind of looking at it from a super high above level, is just, again, giving me hope for the future of Halo. That's going to do it, though, for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you agree, let me know your, you know, your concerns, anything. If you think this is like a super tinfoil hat theory with a lot of hopium, copium, whatever involved in it, let me know in the comments down below. I read every single comment. If you don't want to talk about it, but you do want to help the channel, I'll just leave a, a comment saying Arbiter and leave a like on the video. It helps me out in the algorithm a ton. And I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!